2024 Upper Deck Team Canada Juniors is a little bit less exciting this year. I mean, 22 and 23, I want to say, we had Bedard this year. That's not the case. But it's still, in my opinion, one of the most exciting boxes to open. Because at a relatively cheaper price point, um, you know, when, when Bedard is not involved, we do have, I think it's four, yeah, here, at least four hits per box. And that usually means some sort of premium um, kind of low serial numbered card, a jersey, any type of memorabilia, autos, all that kind of stuff. I know me personally, I've pulled some pretty cool things in the past. Kevin Korczynski jersey auto card was, uh, was one of those. And of course, as a standard, we've got our typical red parallels uh, that come in these boxes. Got the foil board parallels. I believe it's laid out, base set, program of excellence, prospectus momentous, like all that kind of stuff remains the same, I wanna say. Uh, and then, yeah, beyond that, there's a couple inserts. Uh, Team Canada FX is one that I do remember. I'm sure there's a couple more that I'm forgetting right now. Uh, but let's just kind of open it up, see what we can find. Here's a look at our base set here, starting off with Maverick Lemoureux. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff there. And here's a look at Pride of the Program, Denton Mat Matejchuk. Pride of the Program, definitely not new. Seen this before. Um, and like I said, part of the base set there. Program of Excellence, the other kind of thing that we're looking for. Again, part of the base set. And this one's going to be Jake Furlong. Now, moving on, we got Carson Wetch. Uh, Red Parallel. This is just a base set. Red Parallel. Cool stuff there. Oh, no. Red Foil. So, I want to say this is just, yeah. So, this is just the typical Red Parallel. And then... Our foil board is going to be more shiny, so we'll just have to find out. Didn't take a look at the checklist beforehand. Um, probably should have. Here's another look at Pride of the Program. This one's Owen Allard. And finishing off this pack with Frankie Morelli. One thing I am noticing is there is no women in that pack. And here we go. A little pattern foil board coming up there. Starting off with Carter George. And they got Spencer Gill, and it's going to be Pride of the Program. Jordan Dumay is going to be a Silver Foil Parallel. So, cool stuff there. Then we got Red Pride of the Program, Braden uh, Jaeger, just the Red Foil Parallel. And behind the spacer, we got Connor Geeky, Pride of the Program, and Jet Luchenko. So, as I was saying, no women, it seems. Not sure why the changeup. Definitely a stark difference from the past, as we have seen that in the past. Uh, so I'd be curious to know why the change. I know last time I opened one of these, the 2023 iteration, I want to say I got three uh, th three jersey parallels. Um, and then my fourth kind of premium card was a that Kevin Korczynski that I mentioned. So yeah, really interested to see why that's the case. But Braden Yeager starting this one off and... Part of the program, Gavin McKenna, and there we go, I already spoiled it, but Jet Luchenko, exclusives parallel, it's going to be number three out of a hundred. Three out of a hundred is not bad at all. I won't complain about an exclusives parallel, hopefully it doesn't count towards the, the four premium hits, but it probably does. Then we get Maverick, Vanneker, Prospectus, Mementus, nice stuff there. Uh, and Prospectus Momentus is actually not part of the base set, it seems. So Program of Excellence and Pride of the Program are. Prospectus Momentus is not. Then we got Pride of the Program, Connor Geeky, Red Foil Parallel. Behind the spacer, it's going to be Henry Muse. I don't think I mentioned the uh, actual layout. Um, six by 15, so six, card in each pack, six cards in each pack, 15 packs in this box. This one starts off with Carter George. Then we got Jake Furlong. And there is a clear-cut program of excellence, Gavin McKenna. Clear-cut program of excellence. And I mean, that's already great, but right behind it, we've got an outburst Jordan Dumay, part of the program. And it uh, looks like we've got a red foil of Jeff Luchenko base, but wow, three uh, three kind of big, big cards there in a row. Um, yeah, that's always cool. Love clear-cut cards, so that's nice. And finishing this pack off with Macklin Celebrini, Pride of the Program, first overall pick, off to a fantastic start to the season. I think he scored in the first seven minutes of his first game, which is pretty insane. 
That's what I like about these boxes, just the volume of kind of rare hits that you get coming in at a decent price point, obviously, because they're not all superstars, but a lot of them are, you know, prospects with, you know, pretty good futures lined up. So it's cool to see. Cole Baudouin starting this one, part of the program. Matthew Wood. And we got Prospectus Momentous Electric Red Parallel of Henry Muse. This one was numbered 224 out of 399. And we got Program of Excellence, Gavin McKenna. Red, Malcolm Spence. And Matthew Schaefer. Moving our way through this box. And I don't think we've seen any inserts yet. Uh, starting this one off with Gavin McKenna, Jor Jorian Donovan. And we got a Ollie Josephson Pride of the Program. Silver foil parallel there. We got Liam Greentree, red part of the program. Red foil parallel there. Behind the spacer, Easton Cowan, Leafs prospect, base card there. Then we got Kashawn Aitchison, pride of the program. So as I was saying, no inserts thus far. I expect to see at least one. I think uh, Team Canada FX comes one in 15, so I'd assume that just means one per box. We'll have to find out though. Mathis Russo, part of the program, starting off this one. Jordan Dumay, base. Program of Excellence, Macklin Celebrini. Good stuff there. Matthew Schaefer, red parallel. Behind the space here, we got Ollie Josephson and Noah Warren. Next pack, starting off with Matthew Schaefer. Then we got Prospectus Momentus, Matthew Schaefer. Again, this one's going to be the red, electric red parallel, numbered 143 out of 399. Another Prospectus Momentous, this time just base, but it's Caleb Denoyer. Maxime Massé, red parallel. Behind the spacer, Matthew Schaefer, common one, and Carson Rickhoff. I want to say we're past the halfway point of this box. Um, getting close to the end, and well, we haven't seen any... I mean, I guess we've seen a couple numbered cards, which may count. We've seen our exclusives, but no, no memorabilia, no autos yet. So we'll just have to kind of stay tuned there. Macklin Celebrini, though, starting off this one. So that's a good good start. Henry Muse, proud of the program. Looks like a silver foil of Braden Yeager. Just a base there. Program of Excellence, Ty Nelson. Red Parallel, Ryder Ritchie. Finishing off with Iginla. Oliver Bonk starting off this one. Connor Geeky. And, wow, Cole Baudouin. Pride of the program. Autograph. There it is. There is our probably big hit of this box. Flip that over. It's going to be yeah, Pride of the Program. I want it. It's probably like a gold auto parallel or just an auto parallel, but nonetheless, pretty, uh, pretty cool ink there and uh, never going to complain about an auto. So I'll stick that to the side for now. Finish off this pack with Ty Nelson Red behind the spacer. We got Charlie Elick, Pride of the Program, and Ty Nelson again. So we most certainly won't see another auto here, but I'm still uh, hopeful for a jersey card. Yeah, that's about it, honestly. Maybe one or two jersey cards and uh, call it a day. But Carson Wetch starting this one off at, well, there it is. Easton Cowan jersey parallel. Spoken into existence there. It's got a bit of a shine to it too, probably part of the, part of the package. But yep, Easton Cowan jersey base parallel. Good stuff there. Henry Muse, red parallel. And we got Denton Matejchuk finishing off that pack. I'm just being hopeful that those Prospectus Momentous parallel cards don't count towards the four hits. That would mean we had our exclusives, we had uh, this jersey, and then this auto. So we're still on the look for one more kind of premium hit there. And as I'm looking at this pack, it seems we have it right here. So that's, you know, pros and cons. I mean, it's still a jersey parallel, but not going to get anything better. That's unfortunate. Harrison Brunick starting this one off in our jersey parallel is going to be Carson Rekhoff. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Pride of the program. Good stuff there. Nate Danielson, red parallel. And finishing off this pack with Braden Yeager, pride of the program. So it could have gone a bit better for us uh, in that we could have got a Macklin Celebrini uh, jersey auto. But doesn't always go our way. Nothing we can do about that except keep moving. Hopefully we still got to see, hopefully still get to see that uh, Team Canada FX. But starting this one off with Liam Greentree, Maxime Massé. Again, the silver foil parallel. Good stuff there. Uh, program of Excellence. 
Frankie Morelli. Then we got Henry Muse, Red Parallel. Finishing off that pack with Ryerson Leanders. Down to our last two packs here. Let's see what we got here. Carson Rekhoff again. Mathis Russo. Card is backwards for some reason, but bound for greatness. Oh, there we go. So this must be one of the inserts, um, not Team Canada FX, but one of the other ones, I guess. And uh, I don't think it's a parallel, but looks pretty cool. Bound for greatness, Braden Jaeger will take it. Uh, Maxime Massé, Pride of the Program, Red. Behind the spacer, we got Celebrini Base and Nate Danielson, Pride of the Program. Last pack of this box, see what we can pull. Starting off with Cole Baudouin, Caleb Denoyer, Pride of the Program, Silver Foil, Ryder, Richie, Harrison Brunick, uh, Red, Pride of the Program, and Malcolm Spence and Nate Danielson, wrapping this one up. Thankfully, those prospectus momentous parallels didn't count towards um, the four hits. Unfortunately, this exclusives did took away from something that could have been a bit better. Uh, but nonetheless, we got this cool Easton Cowan jersey parallel. Uh, we also got another jersey parallel, part of the program, Carl Carson Rekhoff. Good stuff there. Uh, misprint, as it turns out. Didn't even notice that at the start, but... Yeah, definitely edges are definitely off there and of course our autograph Cole Baudouin part of the program can't complain about this one overall pretty good value in my opinion you get a ton of cards you get a ton of valuable cards rare cards get get to take a look at some of the up-and-coming prospects um, no women this year which is kind of unfortunate uh, would love to see that come back other than that leave it there if you decide to pick one up good luck if not Take care.